Hey everybody, what's going on? It is me, that guy from Team Niederdorf, and I wanted to bring you guys, yes, you guys, a brand new series. And it's not gaming related, it's not reaction related, but it is YouTube related. And if you see my eyes looking up occasionally, it's just so making sure like screens going on and just, you know, a bit more comfortable looking that way because I need to look down at the camera because I can't get any higher without it obstructing my view of everything. Anyhow, I want to start a new series called YouTubers, I appreciate it. Like, people who inspire me, basically. And I'm going to go through a bunch of channels I'm subscribed to and tell stories and why and what each of them do and how they've each impacted my life. And the first shout-out, with no surprise to anyone who has followed this goddamn channel, is... Team Four Star. I wanted to maybe go Masako or Little Karibo first, but uh, I, I reference Team Four Star so much on my channel that I feel like it would be a disservice to what inspires me most on YouTube to not do that. Because they are a huge reason why I'm doing this right now. They are a huge reason, is like a giant wake up call as to what I'm doing in my life. So. I first found Team Four Star after, I believe there was like a Christmas episode for Naruto the Abridged series, and it basically had a plug like, hey, Masako and Vegeta are in Dragon Ball Z Abridged, and I'm like, I like Dragon Ball Z, I like this Naruto Abridged thing, let's check it out. So this was like three or four Team Four Star channels ago before they're on their main channel now, and like less than a thousand subs sort of deal. Me and my buddy go over there, and I watch their videos, and I, I was actually one of the few people to see episode one for a while before it got took down, and then I was sort of disappointed to not see episode one there for a while, because for a while you could only see episode two, and they even comment on it, like, episode one, they had jokes in there that they weren't too proud of, like, they have a breaking the fourth wall joke, where it's like, now prepare yourself for my ult, now prepare yourself for my ultimate attack, double sun! No, no, give me the mic! No, no, give me the mic! Give me the mic! Is the name of real tag? No, it isn't! Fine! I'll go practice my Vegeta! Ass! Now prepare yourself for my ultimate attack! Keep your eye on the- Ooh! A higher power level! Yeah, that joke. Anyhow. The reason they particular mean a lot to me is because a lot of you may or may not know this. I dropped out of college. And there is a reason for this. There was a lot of personal stuff, and I really probably should have taken the year between high school and college, because that summer was hell. And I will talk about that maybe in another video. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have, and it's just sitting on an almost dead computer, and I just don't know when I'll be comfortable enough to put that up, but let's just say a bunch of stuff hit the fan. And... I took solace in the fact that I still had videos from Team Four Star to put me through this place that I was in. I was in rough shape, and little Karibo, dear God, like, he's part of TFS a little bit, so I can say, like, I binge-watched the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series there. I re-watched almost all of Dragon Ball Z Bridge. I watched DBZ Kai all the way through. I was going through some shit and I needed to find a way to escape because the way I dealt with my problems was I either threw myself into something so I didn't think about it or I surrounded myself with so much people and friends that I needed to put my energy into being present in the moment and not think about what was bothering me. So I went into my first year of college and TFS was still putting out content. I was still laughing. I'll get to their gaming channel another bit because that deserves its whole other set of praise but uh yeah i was uh going through college you know joined a fraternity became a founding father or re-founding father of uh, the beta beta chapter of florida southern college of, of pi kappa phi initiate number 602 for anyone who's interested yes i know the handshake and all that i can't do that on camera though because i am sworn to secrecy just can tell you my number and stuff. It's all stuff I have on my jersey that's somewhere in my room. So all nice and folded. It's nice. Anyhow. Throughout that year, 
um, more stuff kept happening, and I kept finding myself going back to their channel as a way to, like, be like, man, I really need something to make me smile. I know this makes me smile. So, a bunch of shit happens. I eventually get, not kicked out, but, like, semi-disassociated with my fraternity. My grades were slipping like hell. And it turns out I just was not prepared or in the mental state to do college. Like, subjects I would excel in, I would fail hard. I didn't feel like doing work. I skipped a bunch of class. Which I don't recommend you do, by the way, unless you know you can, like, pass the course. Like, there were a few classes I passed because I knew the material well enough that I could get away with that. And some of the stuff, like, my high school teacher, he told me when I got there, I would be challenged mentally. And I was like, cool, because high school is a little bit easy for me. Because apparently I'm a smart dude. I mean, I graduated valedictorian. But then again, I was in a class of, like, 18 people. And I helped half of them graduate. So I guess the bar wasn't set too high. Anyhow, shit, I just moved my camera. Anyway, so, this this is all going into why it is important, so. Basically, I decided I needed to take a year just to, quote-unquote, find myself. You know, the school is very, very good, very accommodating, so no bad blood with Florida Southern College if there, this ever comes across them. I hold no ill blood, I love the people there, just didn't like the whole schooling aspect, if that makes sense. So, I came across this program, if you will, and I needed, I was like looking up psychology stuff because I was diving into that, because why not? It interests me, like the human mind, like how people interact, sociology, all that stuff, fascinates the ever-loving hell out of me. But I bought like this course or whatever. And it was like diving into like how people like make successes out of themselves and stuff like that. And one of the things they said to do, and I implore you to do this if you haven't, they said, open up a Word document, get a piece of paper, whatever, and write down what you want to see yourself in a year. Like, where do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? And it was doing this that I really sat down. First, it was like all the, uh, you know, materialistic things like, yeah, man, it'd be really nice to have like a nice computer or like good audio setup for YouTube because I did sort of dabble in my YouTube channel a little bit, but not much. And I went, yeah, like my YouTube channel before the uh, bridged episode which is what it's all leading to. Um, it was different. Like, I did movie reviews. I was trying to do skits. And I still do movie reviews occasionally. I probably should get back on the ball on that. Because you guys seem to really like those. It's just, you know, haven't gone out seeing movies. Uh, I like Suicide Squad. That, that's controversial. Uh, Jared Leto was fine. Uh, we didn't get enough. But uh, I liked what I saw. <laughs> I like Quinn Fine. Deadshot. Cool. Anyway. Uh, so... I basically got to like, oh, where do I want to be? Like, what makes me happy? And I realized that hanging out with my friends and whatnot, I used to do impressions left and right, and I'm like, wait a minute. Like, I was always very theatrical as a person. Like, I was always a bit out there. I was always the person to like, do a scene line for line, do impressions, even in high school. I'm like, wait, a bridging? That's something I could do. So I made... I'll bit a very crappy episode of Naruto Abridged, and it's a one-shot now, it's said episode one. I did make an episode two, but it kept getting taken down, so for those of you who want to see episode two, you can't, I'm sorry, but YouTube kept taking it down. Anyhow, and from there I went, well, I want to make this better, and I really like uh, all this TV stuff, why, why don't I go into voice acting? And I went, okay, because there's like a class or whatever, like, oh, I saw the doc, like, on the topic of this, this should be a Team Four Star, and I know that voice. I know that voice is a documentary where it goes through, like, what it's like to be a voice actor, basically, and that was very, very, 
a huge part as to why I decided to do this. And I noticed in uh, one of the people they were interviewing, Bob Bergen, who I have taken a class with now, and I still want to take his full course, but, uh, you know, spots are limited. But I noticed it said, like, teaches at, and I went, huh, there must be a school for this. And that didn't happen until August. And it was maybe December, like November, December, somewhere in there. And January rolls around, and I'm like, hey, August, whatever, I really want to do this. And I had started making other videos, like reaction videos. I'll get to a uh, nice fellow, Tyrone Magnus, in another video. But uh, I was like, huh, so... I want to do what Team Four Star does. I, I want to get into this. In fact, I want to take it a step above that because I was like, why stop at a bridging and go into a medium I know doesn't make a lot of money? Like, a lot of people don't know this. They don't make money off of Team Four Star. Like, they don't make. No, they make money off of Team Four Star. They make mud. They don't make money off of DBZ at Bridge. They make money off of like jokes or artwork, like T-shirts and whatnot that they make, but. The actual episodes themselves do not net any income, hence why they have like Patreon, that's why they started their gaming channel to help supplement their income. So, if it were not for Team Four Star, and me going, I wanted to be like them, this is something I enjoy, they've bought me joy, I noticed I do a lot of stuff from them that makes me happy, I wouldn't be on the life path that I am, and I feel forever indebted to those guys, because I was in a real bad place, and they helped me get out of it, because when I said I was in a bad place, I was in a bad place, like, I didn't turn to anything too destructive, but I sort of shut myself in, and I didn't really want to do anything, and it was because of them, and me just happening to stumble upon that one course that one day me thinking about what I actually wanted to do and what made me happy and they came up and I went this is what I need to do and these are the reasons why I feel so indebted to Team Four Star and this is why they are the opening to this this is a bit more personal like I'll tell stories like how I found them you know I may not even edit this episode too much just because, you know, I like the very free-flowing thing. It's very visceral, natural. I'm not acting at all. This is all just pure feeling. I could put on an act and be like, Team Four Stars. Team Four Stars, the worst fucking channel ever. They take this thing I love, Dragon Ball, and they take the story and just ruin it. <sighs> Seriously, you're gonna fuck up Goku, you're gonna fuck up Vegeta, you're gonna fuck up the Frieza fight, you're gonna fuck up Season 1, which is the best goddamn thing of Dragon Ball, goddamn it, one Broly! Okay, that, that one Broly part was, you know, I was acting, but, terribly, but it's because I can't, I could rag on them, but I don't, because I have too much respect, like, if I respect you, I can't really rag on you too hard, so... I know that voice, it's a very good documentary because it, if it wasn't for that, on top of around the time when I found that thing along with Team Four Star, I would have went, huh, because Team Four Star was the idea of, I want to do that. Then that documentary went, wait, I could potentially make money at this. Odds are slim, but I could, and it's fun. And it really is, because the classes I've taken and the people I met are the nicest people ever, and I have so much fun. And how I'm in my own Abridge series now. Like, how crazy is that? I might be in a few more soon. Auditions pending. Anyhow, but, you know, talking with the people and really good. Can't, can't say anything, obviously, because NDA! At least I treat everything like an NDA, because that's how the industry does it. Anyhow, I've rambled long enough of how much I love Team Four Star, why they mean so much, why I like how I got on this life path, basically. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Um, I actually have Honey Pop 29 
rendering right now as I make this. This might go up first, I'm not entirely sure, but if Honey Pop 29 isn't is up after you see this, click on over there. Uh, I get interrupted a bunch. I say I'll fix it and post a lot. Um, yeah, you can see me cringe at fucking Momo and see me yearn to go into the character that is Venus because she's a much better fleshed out character and doesn't make me want to rip out my fucking eyes and ears. <sighs> Anyhow, if you like this video, you know, be sure to pass it along to your friends if they're feeling, you know, like they don't know what to do. If you feel, if you were in a similar spot, you know, let me know down below because I feel like this could be cathartic for the both of us, so... I'm going to end it here, and we're going to break on three, guys, and I'll see you next time. One, two, three, break.